Hey there, I'm Aaron. In this video, I want to give you a bit of a run through of Leonardo.ai, not in terms of all of the different features, but I want to show you the many different rendering models that there are to choose from and how using each one is going to give you a very unique outcome compared to the others. So I wanted to start with an image that is fairly photorealistic and this is one that's one of the top images in the Leonardo community so why not use it as a base so I've gone ahead and copied the prompt and the negative prompt over the prompt was a close-up of a Vietnamese old man's face illuminated by the light of a fire with a backdrop of a dirty river and a shanty town so I'm just going to for a little bit of variety here why don't we say a close-up of a Kenyan man's face without it specifying the old and yeah so the first model that we're going to run this with is deliberate 1.1 I'm not going to run through every one of these models because some of them are different versions newer and older versions and that kind of thing so starting with deliberate 1.1 we'll generate that dream shaper v6 vintage style photography RPG4 Leonardo Diffusion Creative Select Let's wait for a moment and while we're doing that let's scroll down here to see some of the variations that have come through. So here we have this is the deliberate 1.1 model and definitely some very striking images not maybe quite as photorealistic as I would want but this one is really nice nice texture on the face fine lines and pores this one and then this guy has got some mangled teeth AI has a lot of difficulty it seems with teeth and also likes to add extra faces limbs and arms uh, so here Dream Shaper version 6 gives us this result that's pretty cool here as well although the teeth not great and here not too bad at all so that was dream shaper version 6 this is vintage style photography so you would think this is going to be quite photorealistic and it definitely is again you can see fine lines fine hair pores this is very striking as well so is this and so is this one, although we have bad eye and some deformity happening in the mouth, it looks like. All right, so that was vintage style photography. Here we have RPG4 and somewhat of a video game texture deal here. And again, with the fine lines and pores, just not as photorealistic. Very cool images. That one is really nice. The eyes are all very striking. So that was RPG4. So here we go into the Leonardo series. So this is Leonardo Diffusion. For some reason, this model has chosen to do a lot more heavy wrinkling. They're all really nice images. I would say that the composition, I like these a lot compared to some of the others. Uh, Leonardo Creative. This does a nice job in terms of getting close to photorealism. I would say that this is somewhere between the vintage style photography and the RPG4 in terms of the clarity of the images. This one is really cool. So is Eka. All right. So that was Leonardo Creative. And now that we have some space to work with here we'll do Leonardo select Leonardo signature and I didn't mention but stable diffusion 2.1 is what all of these models are based on it's either 1.5 or 2.1 but that's what these models are based on and then people have gone in and modified those models to create these ones so there was there is rather Leonardo select different very interesting it's adding some different characteristics overall definitely a video game sort of feel great and finally Leonardo's signature 
Ooh. Cool. Also very interesting. And that is just, I would say that is a fail there, Leonardo. But overall, what have we got here? Let's just backtrack and review again. So Leonardo, deliberate 1.1. Very smooth textures. Photorealism, not quite. Let's look here at Dream Shaper version 6. I would say less photorealistic. Still very cool images that it came out with, though. Powerful. That's really neat. So that was Dream Shaper version 6. Here in the vintage style photography, you would think this would do the most photorealistic job. And I would say that some of the textures are quite photorealistic. Some of the textures in the smooth areas, though, it does have more of that um, game graphic kind of feel to it. Still pretty neat. So that's vintage style photography. RPG 4 is going to be very dramatic and definitely a game graphics kind of look. Really cool. Now, that face is one of the most realistic just because those eyes are so powerful. Really cool. That's a really interesting facial expression. Neat. So that is RPG 4. Then we have the Leonardo series, Leonardo Diffusion. Heavy, heavy wrinkling, increasing. I thought these were really nice too, the Leonardo Creative series. That side is quite nice. And Leonardo Select. Leonardo Select does a really nice job of the lighting and it also gets creative and adds some additional features which I think is really cool. And finally, Leonardo Signature. So here is where we experienced some great graphics but then some fails when it came to the facial features, unfortunately. I mean this, this side of the face is also not the same as this side and this guy was completely distorted. Overall though, I think you can see what an incredible platform this is and the different possibilities that can come from these different rendering models. Overall, Leonardo is just so much fun and besides playing with it with images like these, it also definitely has a lot of practical applications when it comes to image creation and image editing, for example, of stock photography. So there you go, folks, Leonardo AI rendering models. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll catch you next time.